We have an affordable solid state hard drive. And our affordable solid state hard drive is tag teamed with Toshiba's um, technology behind it. And you must know who I'm talking about, OCZ. OCZ were very aggressive back in the day, but they had more of a fail rate with their solid state drives. But now they're with Toshiba, they're really coming back and attacking the market with all kinds of solid state drives. They've got ones for gaming, entry level, performance, and servers, and you name it, they've got it. And they really are coming back. And at this price point, you can't go wrong. Stick around if you want to find out more. So we've got two solid state hard drives from OCZ and we benchmarked them already in real world results. Straight out of the packet and straight into a device, straight to the computer, read and write speeds straight off the bat and we just wanted to know what it's actually like. Instead of like keep testing it, testing it, testing it, we wanted to know straight out of the box like how you would. You would buy um, a solid state drive and you want to know how good the performance is straight away without testing it, testing it, testing it till you get the best marks. You just want it to be performing uh, overall with great stability, because that's the whole point, you want to buy a solid state drive that's not going to basically uh, run into problems and you, you basically have got all your data on there and then it runs into problems and then it bricks itself and then you can't grab any data off. Well, they've got like a five year warranty on these hard uh, solid state drives, a three year warranty and you can't really go wrong. So this is a six gigabit SATA version and it's backwards compatible with a uh, gigabyte uh, SATA 2, so it, that's at 3 gigabits per second, so old technology with new technology running at higher speeds. Now we've got the Trinion, um, or Trinion 150 to test out, they only bought a 100 out uh, I think just before Christmas. We've got the Vector 180, or oh, actually we've got the Vector 180 480 gigabyte storage version, we also got the Trinion 150 at 480 gigabyte storage version, it comes in in, uh, what is it, 120, 240, 480 and 960 versions and obviously the 150 is of entry level and you can use it for a notebook obviously it'll be much more improved than a normal standard 2.5 inch that will go in your notebook so using a solid state drive, no mechanical moving parts um, MLC uh, technology in there oh, it, it's crazy, Like it's so much better than what it was before uh, but obviously everyone that wanted to have like super gaming performance and read and write speeds for obviously video editing and stuff like that that's when these drives come in now obviously the 150 is entry level and it's for beginners and you're looking at around read speeds write speeds well what they say is around 500 to 550 bit uh, 500 megabits per second uh, read and write speeds but the performance drive is saying that all day long and We've, we've obviously tested it and it doesn't seem like it's that kind of speed, it's more like half that speed but it's all about stability. I would rather have quality over quantity. So I'm going to have a look at um, OCZ's websites and this is what their sequential read and write speeds are meant to be. So for the one we've got, we've got a 480 gigabyte version and it says 550 megabytes per second and 530 megabytes per second uh, sequential write speeds and then read speeds are obviously 550. Uh, random read speeds, 4 kilobytes, around 100,000 IO, I, I, oh. IOPS, so IOPS, uh, random write speed, 4 kilobytes, again 95, IOPS, steady state, uh, steady state, alright, steady state, random write, 4 kilobytes again, 23 IOPS, and then we go down to the physical usable capacity, which starts getting a little bit confusing, so we go with the LAN components, 
and it says Toshiba N19 uh, uh, Toshiba A19 nanometer multi-level cell MLC so MLC for short NAND controllers OCZ barefoot free moo 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 uh, we got serial ATA uh, six gigabytes per second, which sat at three, and we've also got sat six. Is um, we've got the backwards compatible SATA cables as well that could be connected to it. Uh, form factor 2.5 inch, which we already know, seven millimeters in height, and the ultra thin for the notebook. So most of these solid state hard drives are still going to be um, staying at seven mil. So that's that's not bad. The weight of it, which doesn't really matter, it's just 150 grams. Um, environmental power consumption, idle at 0.85 watts, active at 3.7 watts. Uh, operating temperature, 0 degrees to 70 Celsius. Storage temperature, 45 Celsius to 85 Celsius. Shock resistance, uh, 1000G to 0 0.5 milliseconds, vibrational operational, 2.17 grams, 7000 7, to 800 hertz, vibrational option. Do you know what? This is quite a mouthful right here. But basically, all you really want to know is, is this solid state drive going to have a warranty? It's going to last me. It's going to be fast, what they're saying, with the read and write speeds. It ain't going to get slower after the period of time. And can I use it to game? And I'm gonna get the optional speed and I'm not gonna have bottlenecking. This is what we're here to talk about. All that sort of stuff is very in-depth stuff and scientific if you're gonna really benchmark stuff. I benchmark just to show you the kind of read and write speed straight out of the box. Maybe it will change. I'm using a 5930K processor. Um, and it's not overclocked, it's water cooled, and we're running a uh, graphics card GTX uh, 680, that's overclocked. I'm running Asus motherboard Rampage to so go in it, so it's a 2011 version 3 motherboard. Then obviously, I've got about 11 hard drives in there, um, operating systems, Windows 10, um, power supplies, 860. Um, 600, it's a digital Corsair and 60 watts power supply. And what else have I got in there? Everything's water cooled. So it's all custom water cooled. It's not um, like a kit or anything like that. This is all cutting tubing and obviously putting it into the barbs and feeding it around and measuring it all up, cable management. Everything's really nice. But obviously, the date of that computer, I don't know whether that affects the actual speed of solid state drive. So I'm using this, which is by Unitech and you can put like a solid state or 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch drives in here it's USB 3, it's plugged straight into USB 3 those are the read and write speeds and then I've got the performance drive actually connected to a SATA 6 con uh, connector but if I was using something that's a little bit more up to date maybe it would be a bit more different so the perform that's the performance of the Vector 180 I'm quite happy with it uh, Real world, which was, uh, real world results would be dragging information, data back and forwards onto the drive. Stabilities, how long it will last. Now, you got to question yourself. It's quite um, like it's about 30p or 35p for a gigabyte these days for the drives. Where back in the day it was like one pound, one pound fifty for a gig, and like the bigger solid state hard drives, it was really expensive, especially for the name brands and stuff. OCZ did come back, smash the market, and they are competing with like the Samsungs and um, the A Datas and stuff like that. But um, it's kind of neck and neck with the Samsung uh, Evo solid state drives. Uh, your mechanical hard drives are definitely been there for a very long time. But if you just want to have no mechanical parts, this is the way to go forward. It's solid state all the way. Solid state's got faster boot times, especially their budget in um, solid state drive. Very fast boot up times. Uh, you can get from A to B like really quickly. So if you want to get a picture and you want it to render really quickly or video edited, all of that sort of stuff is budgeting. Uh, so these days, solid state drives are kind of caught up compared to what they were back in the day. Um, there were some big players and you heard of the Revo drive and that was ridiculously fast. That's a PCI Express. Going to PCI Express with your graphics card would, 16 times bus speed, straight into the motherboard and literally you would be blown away with how fast you were getting read and write speeds. I think it was something like 
something stupid like 960 megabytes per second read speeds and write speeds were just ridiculous compared to where we are now and this was OCZ years ago so you can imagine how aggressive they're going to be right now especially being with Toshiba with um, the flash NAND um, TLC uh, NAND flash memory um, all in the storage and that and you've got better components and more stability that's what it's about at the end of the day so I am definitely recommending these solid state drives um, I'm going to be actually putting it into a build and then I'm going to actually download a couple of games and I'm going to do some video editing and stuff like that and proper do some real world testing now I've done the other sort of testing where you do scientific testing to show that these drives are worthy and they don't buckle under pressure and they don't bottleneck with other components now this is kind of an older setup and it's more better for you because if you've got a newer setup that means your drives are going to run a lot faster than what I'm actually saying so previously the benchmarking that you are seeing at the moment on this screen is you're obviously going to get more improved results but it's kind of a leverage to give you to know like what you're looking for so if you're um, crossing over uh, pictures video 4k at least you know roughly that's the bottom end you're meant to be getting rather than the top end so really good with that and I'm really quite impressed with how OCZ have come back partnered up with Toshiba and smashing the market right now so I definitely recommend these uh, drives but I'm, and they also look they look fabulous, they really look nice, They've got nice little designs and stuff like that. I do like how other solid state, well, other companies are doing, uh, or manufacturers are doing the same thing, making their drives look a little bit more interesting. It's good because you can kind of put that in your build, you've got something that you paid for and it's like really nice and you don't want to just a bland solid state drive, you just want something that looks nice and it makes your build look nice. So, this is the end of the review. Actually, it's not the end of the review because I haven't even talked about the Trinion 150 yet. So, that's an entry level solid state hard drive, and obviously, it's, uh, it can be for enthusiasts as well, but it's a more of a budget solid state drive. It's kind of up there, as I said earlier, with Samsung Evo um, hard drive, uh, solid state drives because everyone kind of uses like the known sort of brands, which would be Samsung, A Data, um, Scan, no, not Scan, uh, SanDisk. So the Trinion 150, it's got the same sort of technology, just a much better budget in price. But also, it's definitely recommended as well because it's not too pricey as I said, looks nice, still stays in a 7mm actual size so it can fit in a notebook no problem or you can use it as an entry level for gaming and stuff and it's still got the best speed of a mechanical 2.5 inch hard drive. So whether it's 54 RPM speed or 7000, uh, 7000, oh my god, 7900 RPM speed I think it is. It's okay, this is a lot more faster, but without mechanical uh, parts, and it's also got 5 year warranty. This is the end of review anyway, so if you want to find out more um, information, I'll leave a link down in, in the, the comments down below, or in the description down below. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, I'm always on Instagram, I'm social as well if you want to ask anything um, about these drives, because I'm obviously going to put them in um, and build, it's going to be all solid state and it's going to be all for gaming, it's going to be wicked. And yeah, and on Google+, Plus, on Facebook, so check us out there and on the website as well, all the links will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next one. See ya!